Welcome to Coder and Ram's Institute of Floristry. You design with artists. There's two basic types of glue guns. This one is called a low temperature gun. And if you see how this is sort of an oval in here and the piece of glue is oval, that goes in this specifically low temperature glue gun. Very seldom do I ever use this because I want it a little bit hotter when I'm using it. But whenever the glue is white like this, you can only use it indoors. You can't use it for cold and you can't use it for the moisture because it won't hold up. So this is a low temperature glue gun. It doesn't get as hot and doesn't burn you as much. And I think if you're, you're designing with children or you're doing some sort of a craft that everything is close together, you can use the low temperature glue gun. The one that I choose to use is the high temperature glue gun. This is a nice glue gun because it has a little stand and you can set it down and it holds really well. You can see it sideways how it holds very well. There's a couple of different types of glue for this. This is the longer one. So when you're doing larger projects, you can use the long one. Smaller projects using the shorter one. But again, this is for indoor use. This is not used in cold and moisture, so not for fresh designs because it doesn't hold tight it will disengage and it's not the kid slamming the door so the wreath falls apart it's the fact that you didn't use the correct glue but this is round and you see that this fits into this space very easily because it's round so that's the main difference it's like diesel fuel and regular fuel you know when that when the little hose doesn't fit that it's not the right fuel now probably my favorite tool is the glue pan and this is a great tool and I always set the glue pan and the glue guns this is just an inexpensive tile that I bought from a home store and it's a ceramic tile I don't like to set the glue pans the glue gun on wood or on metal because they do radiate the heat and you never know so make sure that you always have a really nice uh, ceramic plate that you set it on the glue gun and the glue the little, both of the glue guns really don't have a temperature setting. The glue pan has a regular temperature setting that you need to keep it at and the directions will tell you what, what is the best. Um, for my use, what I usually say is you don't want it really runny and smoky and you don't want it looking like taffy, so kind of in, the, in between there. Now the glue you use for the glue pan is this pellet. And any time the glue is yellow, and there's a couple of different types, there's also one that comes in a carton of 12 and they're, they're square, and uh, by Floral Life. And any time you use glue with the yellow in it, that has the chemical componency to hold in the cold and the moisture. And that's what you would use if you're doing reeds or doing designs for outside, or using in the cooler when you're gluing your foam into the container for fresh designs. And we'll be showing you all of these procedures of all of the tools later on, but this is just identification to show you the tools and the best glue to use for the best time. So make sure that the glue pan is always sitting in ceramic tile and anything cold and moisture you use always the glue that has the yellow in it.